Hi, I'm Van Malone, cornerbacks coach here at Oklahoma State University. I'm here today to talk to you about why Justin Gilbert was so effective for the Cowboys. Here at the top of the screen, we see Justin, and he is in what we call in press coverage. He's playing man-to-man -man on the outside on the number one receiver. So as the receiver moves into motion, what Justin has to realize is he has to keep his eyes on his man even through movement. He does a good job of playing underneath or playing coverage on his man. And once his man breaks, makes a break, he does a good job of running the route for the receiver. Once the quarterback releases the ball now, because he's in great coverage position, he's able to make a play on the ball. And once he gets his hands on the ball, he's an offensive player. He's, he's done a good job for us over the years of uh, when he has the ball in his hands, he's able to make a, a big time play with it. We'll see it at a, at a different angle. Ball's thrown, catches the ball away from his body at the highest point. And using his speed and athletic ability, he's able to get to the end zone and score for the Cowboys. Now in the Big 12, because of the fact that offenses will always try to see if your cornerback will tackle, if he'll go in and be a part of the run fit, there are different times throughout the game where they're motion, they'll motion a receiver to put Justin into the fit. So now we have to rely on Justin once he sees run blocking by the tight end, by the end man on the line of scrimmage, he has to fit into the run just like a linebacker does. It's a good job by Justin. At the top of your screen is in man coverage on a receiver, but he's in man coverage in the red zone. It's a little bit different coverage than out in the field. So Justin has to understand that on this route, he doesn't have to stay on top of the receiver like he's trained out in the field. He can now break underneath and use the end line, use the end line as a defense. So now the quarterback tries to fit the ball in there and Justin's underneath to make a play on the ball. Just like we talked about before, once this guy gets the ball in his hands, he's like an offensive player. He makes offensive coaches and defensive coaches happy because of the fact that he's able to get the ball down the field, advance the ball for the offense. We see Justin here at the bottom of the screen. He's playing once again, he's playing in the red zone, playing man coverage on the number one receiver. But what he's been trained to do, he's been trained to recognize the vertical route of the receiver. Once he recognizes the vertical route of the receiver, he's going to immediately cut the receiver off, get in the vertical line of the receiver, and now get his head around and be able to make a play on the ball. He does a good job of this, and this is one of the things that has made him such a good player over the years. So now we see Justin, he's in off coverage. The previous clips, he's been in press coverage. So he's off now and he's playing over the top of the receiver, but he's trying to give the quarterback a different look to make him believe that maybe he's gonna play soft and play underneath. So now what we train Justin to do, and he does a really good job of it here is, is he's going to play this receiver just as if he was playing press coverage. Once the receiver pushes down the field, he's going to cut the receiver off, get in his vertical line, and now give the receiver no chance to play the deep ball, which he does a great job of cutting him off, making a play on the football on the deep route. Down at the bottom of your screen, he's in press coverage again. Does a good job, does a good job of using his hands. Thing that, that Justin has done a great job over the years is, is being physical with receivers near the line of scrimmage. Gets a couple bumps on the receiver, recognizes that the receiver is running a vertical route. He has the receiver under control, and now he's able to get his head around right now. Ball's already in the air, but you see that he's able to knock the receiver off Knock the receiver off the vertical line. The receiver has no chance at all at making a play on the ball. He's able to go up and get the ball at the highest point. First down, Cowboys going the other way. Hopefully, that gives you a little bit of an insight as to why Justin Gilbert was successful here as a Cowboy. Thanks for joining us. I'm Van Malone. Go Pokes. This program was produced in association with Cox OSU On Demand.